want to go back to your favorite uh, article here. It's the ESP32 audio transceiver board. And this was by Saad and Jens. So you guys are the contributors on this. Uh, could you tell us a bit about that, Jens? You can see here um, boards, which is uh, versatile for many audio applications. But you can also uh, use it for uh, data logging and, and measure measurements and so on. It's based on the ESP S3, which is a powerful variant of the ESP32. You have um, their connector for um, plugging in uh, I squared um, audio module, so to say. Um, it has a DAC and an ADC, so a DAC and an ADC on it. And it's uh, connected to the ESP32 um, with um, I square S. So you can input and output music. And on the other side, you can uh, plug on the Nordic NRF24 uh, module. Um, so you can send data, but you can also send audio. And this is actually the first article um, of a kind of small series where Sad and me are presenting the board itself, the circuit um, with all connectors. You have many options to um, connect it to other uh, modules, sensors, and so on. It also has an SD card on it. And we did not want to end this first article without a real application. So um, I developed a very small demo where uh, WAV files can be played uh, from the SD card and you can output it to hear music, so it's a kind of music player. And here on this photo, you can see um, that board in action, but that is already um, part of the second part um, of this series. You can see uh, um, all the modules on there and we build it in a metal housing. So that has a reason because this application is already showing uh, outputting um, audio, uh, transmitting audio to another uh, receiver. So you have a um, wireless connection between two of these PCBs. Uh, we will uh, report on the wireless connection extensively in the second part of the series. I'm currently working on it. I'm currently finishing it. That will be in the September, October edition. And that's actually uh, my pet project or the pet project I'm doing with a friend. Um, you can see, um, Alps motor potentiometer, and there is one. There's control circuitry, and as you can see, that is a very early stage of prototyping. So we are using a lot of modules, and we are using an ESP32 uh, with that uh, compact shio form factor and uh, some growth connectors. You can see the uh, loose cables, and at the top of this picture, you can see uh, this is a subwoofer preamplifier. And uh, currently, I'm working on a better PCB for that because on that PCB, yeah. uh, there's an ESP32. There's also a dip switch. You can see an external ADC, and you can see um, a motor driver. And to integrate that a little bit better, and yeah, I am have the second revision of that project on my desk. There's a second in integration um, stage where I'm using um, a distinct a dip switch and I made a small piece of Vero board with a port expander. If you have, um, if you don't use, uh, so to say, ready-made modules with these connectors, from, for example, from C technology, you can also save some euros. Um, of course, if you buy a, only a breakout board at um, Far East, then you can get it um, really cheaper. But yeah, we would like to integrate, of course, everything at the end on a PCB.